and we will win. Oh, it's good to be back in Wisconsin and to be with so many leaders. I thank everyone here for taking the time out of your busy lives to be here this evening. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Tammy Baldwin, let's re-elect her to the United States Senate. <laughs> County Executive Crowley, Mayor Johnson, Cardi B, let's give it up. <laughs> and can we hear it again for MC Life, Flo Millie, Glorilla, Keegan Michael Key. Oh, what a good night. All right, we got work to do in Milwaukee. Okay, four days left, four days left in the most consequential election of our lifetime, and we still have work to do. But here's the thing about all of us, we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is joyful work. And make no mistake, we will win. Why? Because when you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. And in this election, we have an opportunity to finally turn the page the on a decade. We'll get it off the tough fights, obviously. <laughs> For decades as a prosecutor and the top law enforcement officer of the biggest state, I won fights. I won fights against the big banks who were ripping off homeowners. I won fights against for-profit colleges that were scamming veterans and students. I won fights against predators who abused women and children. I won fights against cartels that trafficked in guns and drugs and human beings. And I pledge to you, if you give me the chance to fight on your behalf, there is nothing that will stand in my way as I fight for you. And look, we know who Donald Trump is. This is not someone who is thinking about how to make your life better. This is someone who is increasingly unstable, yeah. obsessed with revenge. Yeah. He is consumed with grievance. Yeah. And the man is out for unchecked power. Yeah. And look, in less than 90 days, it's either going to be him or me in the Oval Office. Yeah.
the folks who are not here to just have them imagine. You know, we've all seen the Oval Office on TV. Imagine on January 20th, that day, it's either going to be Donald Trump if he is elected, which he will not be, which he will not be, but to help people imagine what the stakes are. It's either going to be him there on day one, walking into that office, stewing over his enemies list, or when I am elected, walking in on your behalf with my to-do list. And I'm a hard worker. <laughs> and at the top of my list is bringing down the cost of living for you. That will be my focus every single day as president. I will give a middle-class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. I will enact the first ever federal ban on corporate price gouging on groceries. And I will fight to make sure that hardworking Americans can actually afford a place to live. If you are caring for an elderly parent, if you are in the sandwich generation, caring for an elderly parent and young children, I will tell you my plan will cover the cost of home care under Medicare. Because I, I took care of my mother when she was sick. And I know what you are doing whether it be trying to cook something that they feel like eating, whether it be trying to help them put on a sweater, trying to find a moment where you can bring a smile to their face or make them laugh. That work is about dignity. That work is about dignity. And I'm going to make sure you have the support and they have the support they deserve. My plan will lower the cost of child care. Again, it's about dignity. It's about seeing the strains and the pressures. We will cut taxes for small businesses because our small businesses are the backbone of America's economy. Where are our small business owners? Let me see our small business owners. And we will lower health care costs, because here's where I come from on that. Look, I believe access to health care should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. <laughs> dignity, values about the dignity of each of us and the responsibility of real leaders to, unlike my opponent, not think that the measure of their strength is based on who you beat down, but the true measure of strength of a leader based on who you lift up. <laughs> and then you got Donald Trump, who... And his answer to the financial pressures you face is the same as it was the last time, another trillion dollars in tax cuts for billionaires and the biggest corporations. And this time he will pay for it with a 